Well, new tonight, law enforcement is sounding the alarm about a rising trend that they've seen in violent crime over the last few years. Yeah, we're talking about ghost guns, and as Two on Your Side's Andy Payden reports tonight, they were a key piece of evidence in one case that came to a close today. Right, Andy? Scott and Mary Alice, that's right. After three years of gathering evidence, one piece stood out to investigators, and it's proven to be a safety concern not just here, but across the nation. It's a judgment of this court to sentence Matthew Gowitz to the maximum sentence allowable under the law. Tonight, justice for one family bringing to light an increasing threat. With Erie County Court today sentencing Matthew Gerwitz to 65 years to life. This was probably, you know, easily the top five uh, incidents that we've had, you know, in this county. In 2020, Gerwitz shot and killed 32 year old Joseph Morosco and later shot at six officers with an AR style weapon while they were investigating the murderer outside his Tonawanda home. Authorities recovering five firearms from his apartment. Every weapon that was uh, recovered was a ghost gun. He had, he had materials in his home to make ghost guns. Uh, he admitted basically that he made, the, he made the assault weapon. That is the problem. It's, they're not really selling a gun. They're selling bits and pieces of a gun. Jeff Ronaldo is a former captain of the Buffalo Police Department and tells me the use of ghost guns have been on the rise in recent years. It's not a functioning weapon that you buy from them, so that's what allows it to skirt the federal firearms laws. In 2017, ghost guns were tied to about 1,600 crime scenes. In 2021, they're recovered at the scene of nearly 20,000. When you go to the website to order the components, they're not doing a background check on you. They're not doing any of the necessary steps to make sure that you are A, who you say you are, and B, that you're allowed to have these types of weapons. Tonight, investigators putting to rest a years old case, but bringing notice to an emerging issue. This is a problem for our community. Everyone in our community should be aware of ghost guns, what they are, and the danger they present. Last year, a bill was passed here in New York, making it illegal to possess a ghost gun or sell parts to one. A move security experts say is a key step toward preventing to make these weapons keep popping up at crime scenes. In the newsroom and on your side tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.